What's going on, my pals? SMI. Today we got part two of Harry Potter, Toy and Life in Hogwarts, part two. Let's go. Draco, yes. Look at McGongo. She's enjoying the stuff. That will Can I have one? Draco said, Look at Toy. What do you mean? I mean, look, it's so amazing. I just followed you back. Okay, and wait, McGonagall's right behind you. Oh, hi, Mom. McGonagall smiled. Just wanted to say thank you for the stuffed animal, and I think I want to meet the love of your life and give you a nickname. Okay, and you know how you don't mispronounce your father's nickname? Oh, yeah, that. And the father's nickname for my group is... Ride or Die. Yes, that is your father's nickname for your group. And mine is the Real Drama Club. And what is the other father's group? My imaginary friends. Yes. And now I'm going to give you a Draco nickname. It is my the Lubbert. Why the Lubbert? I just thought of it because you guys are like cute Lubberts. McGonagall sits, smiling, and watches both boys blush fiercely fire red. Thanks, Ma. Tony said, smiling. Thank you, Miss McGonagall. So Drago smiled, grabbing Tony's hand. You should be off, you two. I want to tell the Hufflepuff that it's alright. I understand that he didn't mean to call me fat. Thanks, Ma. I'll go tell him. Bye. Tony said, dragging Draco away. Where are we going? We well, get there, it's time for our date. Tony said, running with Draco up to their date. They finally get into Dungeon Alley. How did you get here? So we got here so fast. I used a portal. Tony said, smiling. I thought we were supposed to talk to the Hufflepuff. Draco said, looking at him. We'll talk to him later. Today is our date. Drago blushed fiercely red. Alright, where are we going? I'll surprise you. Toy said smiling, scratching his neck. We finally got to the area of the date. What is this place? Draco asked. It's a cafe. I opened one this week. I thought we should go in. I were there. You open a cafe? Does that mean no one? A lot of people didn't know I opened a cafe. Tony said, smiling, walking into the shop with Draco following behind, still shocked out of his mind. Hello, boss, the cafe worker said, smiling at their boss. Hello, workers, Tony said, smiling. Draco followed Tony to the seat uh, bench, where Tony sat down with Draco following behind, sitting on the side. What can I get for you? A male walked to, to Draco and told his spot. Oh, boss, I didn't recognize you. In your Hogwarts attire, the male said, blushing. Don't worry, oh, this is my date and boyfriend, Draco Malfoy. Draco's with respect on Darren. Right, sure, sorry for about that. Darren said, looking at the owner. Darren blushed and looked at the side where Jackson stood. Jackson was Darren's boyfriend. Darren cued Jackson over. I'm sorry, sir, Jackson said, breaking another look at the broomstick he broke. Sorry, Jackson, I'm not trying to steal your man. Donna said, looking at Jackson. I'm just making sure that you guys know that I'm already taken. Yes, sir, the two boys said. Now what can I get for you, the two little birds? Darren said, look at Tony and Draco. I'll get a nice coffee and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, or your donut, Draco. I'll get a uh, nice coffee and a chocolate donut, please. Sure thing, come right up. The two boys ran into the kitchen to get everything ready. 
One run to get the drinks ready, one run into the kitchen to get the donuts ready. They get fresh for the boss and his dates. So I decide those two. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Darren is... Darren is one of my top selling workers, and Jackson is the uh, strongest man that you ever think of. So I said, smiling. He seems to break stuff. Joraco said, yeah, his anger gets the best of him. So I said, well, he's a good worker. So I smiled. Once their food and drinks were brought over, so I tapped their heads. You get another extra pay for today, all right? Tony said, smiling. Yes, sir, the two boys said, smiling. Oh, and Jackson? Yeah. Next time, don't break the broomstick again. You know the brooms have lives to them, don't you? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Don't worry about it. Tony said, smiling. Just saying next time you act. Yes, sir. Darren laughed at Jackson's stilliness like a boyfriend shit and Jack Darren? Yes. Don't laugh at your boyfriend. He didn't know he was just being overprotected. Yes, sir, Jack Darren said, smiling. Don't decide those two. I wanted to be his joy looking at Dracula's face. Mesmerized by his features. What are you doing? Draco asked. Nothing, just mesmerized by you. Oh. Draco blushed a hundred times more ruder than a toy. I never knew about that. Draco asked. Oh, nothing. It's just you're more beautiful than the sunrise and the sunset. Tony said, smiling. I mean, thanks. I guess don't want to get that contemplated any time. Draco asked. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Tony said, blushing more times redder than Draco. Tony said, I wanted to ask you something. What? Can we go out and then another time soon? Draco asked. Sure, I mean, yeah, I mean, sure, yes. I'd love to, Tony said, smiling. They finished their day and headed back to Hogwarts to the foil. Tony smiled, dropping his arm around Draco, taking him back to a Slytherin base. See you later, Draco. Oh, yeah, yeah, bye. Draco leaned in, kissed Tony's cheek. Love you. Love you too, Tony said, smiling. So we walked back to the river club base, we'll opened the door, and the other river claws looked at him. What is this now? So I asked the river claws, You were with the Slytherin! The river claws chanted. Yeah, and? Which one? The river claws asked. None of your business, so no. get back to studying. Tony so said, being the oldest of the group, so I knew what they were going at. The youngest all went back to work. Well, the other oldest sticked with Tony. So, how was it? Normal. Tony said, sighing. Why? Just a normal date. Went to the my uh, went to my calf, and that was it. Tony said, smiling. It? You got a kiss mark. Oh, come on, guys. It was fine. So it wasn't a girl that kissed you. No, it was Draco. Draco Malfoy? One of the youngest heard. Go back to studying. Tony said, gave him the youngster a look. Yes, yeah, yes, sir. The youngster said, look at him. Tony sighed. So, want to do it again sometime? One of the red claws asked. Yeah, I might do it again. What about if your father's find out? My mother did find out. She was spying on us. Oh, that's interesting, one of the Raven Clouds said. Yeah, and I'll get back to study and I'll do my study as well. So he said, smiling, today was a good day.
He thought his head sitting over his work. Peace out, hero squad.